All right, so I've got my web page about rabbits, and I would like to edit that in my command line editor. So to do that, I need to go over to my command line, which is the terminal app on the Mac, and then I'm going to pick one of the command line editors. I'm going to use Vim, type the command for that editor, and now I'm going to make up a file name, say all about rabbits.html press enter and now I'm actually inside the editor doesn't look like much but there's actually a lot of functionality here so I'm going to paste it in using some Vim commands and now you can see my HTML is inside Vim and I can navigate everything using the keyboard the arrow keys and different other commands that I'm familiar with and if I'd like I can make a little edit here. So what did we do before? Let's make this about bunny rabbits. Okay, and then I'm going to save using the WQ command. All right, so I saved and I left it. Now I'm going to open it using the open command. And that should go ahead and open in the browser. There we go. I can see my change and it's working great. And if I want to, I can go open back up and make some changes and then reload the page when I'm done. So let's see, all about bunny rabbits, add even more exclamation marks, save it, go back up to my browser, open it, ta-da. So here you have it, this is the command line workflow. And it's gonna be different depending on exactly which command line editor you use, um, but generally it's a lot of using different commands, getting really comfortable with, with that editor and coming up with a nice flow for editing and reloading in the browser.